Hello everybody and welcome to your next uh, LEGO 5 platformer tutorial. Uh, so in this tutorial we're going to be studying off the animation class. Uh, but before we even uh, study animation class there uh, is some things that we have to address. Now I don't even remember who made the comment. Let me pause it so I can see it so I can give you credits for this. So H uh to fee. Sorry if I pronounced that wrong, but he or she asked this question uh about um the way I'm actually allocating the screens, right? What I'm doing is that uh in our in the code, what I'm doing is that we're we're having a pointer to it and what we're doing is like in our splash screen itself we're saying new title screen, but the problem is that whenever we do that we're not deallocating memory and that's a problem. So how do we deallocate the memory? Well, the one thing that the one thing that we notice is that if we look at splash screen dot uh, cvp, uh, we do the new uh, title screen the parameters, right? So uh, if we were to go to screen manager dot cpp and we were to delete this, uh, you would say delete screen, then there would be a problem because we need to use this screen as a reference, right? And if we notice, uh, when we do say new screen is equal to screen and current screen is equal to new screen, uh, basically uh, they're pointing to the same address. So say uh, these were houses or whatever. Say uh, this is a house and um, when we allocate new splash screen or whatever, it's at house number 500, right? New screen is a pointer, so it's pointing to house 500 and this is pointing to this, which is pointing to house 500. So all we have to do is just deallocate the current screen or to delete the current screen and therefore it will deallocate the memory that we um that we're not using. Now a lot of you might be saying, okay, we have new screen equals screen and current screen equals new screen. Uh why not just delete this and just say current screen equals the screen? That's what we're gonna be doing as well. Uh I had an idea to do with the new screen. If I decide to do that again then we can use that, but uh we really don't need that. It's just an extra step that we don't need. Okay? So what we're gonna do is that after we unload the content, what we're gonna do is we're gonna call delete current screen. And when we delete this current screen, uh what it's gonna do is it's gonna deallocate it from the previous uh instance and then we're gonna set a new value to it. Okay? Uh, uh, just like you should. Whenever you, a pointer should never be just uh, a pointer should at least have a null value. When you delete something, you should always set a new value to current um to your pointer. Uh, whether you have nothing really to put in it, make it null or something. If you don't make it null, then it becomes a dangling pointer, and uh, that could be uh really detrimental to your program. Uh, so yeah. Uh, so now that we have that, so since we change that, if we go to our screen manager dot age, we can get rid of this new screen right here. Uh, so some other changes that we're going to make. One other change I just made is that I just made uh, I changed splash screen to enter and same with title screen. So it doesn't really matter uh, how we do it. So I believe that's all I changed. Uh, yeah. Okay, so oh yeah, I changed this to white, but I was just testing out something. Okay, so now it's time to delve into animation. So what are what we're going to do is we're going to create a base animation class. So just like we have a game screen class, we're going to have an animation class, and everything else that we need is going to derive from the animation class. Okay, uh, so we're going to say animation. We're going to create that. So everything that every single animation that we create is going to derive from the animation class and then we're going to be able to do stuff with it. So right now what we're going to do is we're going to make the protected section and we're going to have yeah so uh, as you know protected means that uh, anything that inherits from this class they can use the variables or functions or methods or whatever you have within the protected area. So now for the uh, protected area, we got a few things that we um, that we gotta put in. So first of all, we gotta include some certain things. We're gonna have to include uh, Lego Five. Uh, we're also going to have to include uh, the images, and that is it for now. 
so now we have uh we're gonna have a bitmap so we're gonna have an image uh we're going to we're gonna want to include the string class as well so string so we're going to need a uh, scd string uh, for text uh for position uh what well, we'll, ha we'll have an int position no float Float position, we have t uh, an array of two. So the first element is going to represent x, the next element is going to represent y. Okay, so we got a position, we got, we need an alpha value. Uh, we also need, uh, we need a source rect, and we have that under our bitmap. And yeah, it needs to be a pointer. So we have our source rectangle. So in case we're gonna crop out, if our if we're doing like a walking animation or anything like that, we need to have a source rectangle so we can uh so we can crop out uh, certain images and such. And for now, uh, we're just gonna keep on adding to this as we go. I know there's uh, more that we could add to it, but for now, we're just gonna leave it at that. Okay. So. Uh, so we're going to need to have an uh, say let's see load content. Uh, we're gonna have an update. And before you know how we took in the uh, the Allegro event, and this uh, this time we're going to take in an input manager parameter. Since all the game screens have an input manager, then uh, we should take that in. And that's one more thing that we should add right now. So before we before I forget, uh, what we're gonna do is we're gonna go to the game screen dot h, and we're going to make a protected area, and we're just gonna put input manager, and we'll just name it input. So if we go to our splash screen dot h and also on our game screen gotta include the input manager. Uh so in our splash screen dot h we can get rid of that, in our title screen dot h we can get rid of that, and uh therefore it will still remain there because it's um nothing. You won't get any errors because it is protected, right? So it inherits from the game screen class. So let us get back to the animation. So we have, uh, we get our input, and last but not least, we have our display. So, uh, and these should be virtual and virtual. Okay, so, uh, or actually, we probably won't even make the draw virtual. Uh, the reason we being because the way we're going to draw everything is going to be uh, exactly the same or should be the same uh, as every single everything else. But we will see if we're going to make that virtual um, or whether or not we're going to make it virtual or not uh, later on. So we also one thing we forgot is to have our unload content. And... So for the load content, we have it here. On uh, load content, we have our update with our input manager. And last but not least, let me scroll down here. We have our draw with our Lego display. And in the draw, what we're going to do is we're going to we're gonna to check to see if our our bitmap is is null. Okay, so we probably yeah, yeah. So what we're gonna do, we're gonna say that if our our image wait if source rect not equals null uh then we want to draw the source rect okay so what we're going to do is we're going to say draw uh we'll say tinted bitmap okay so uh what we're going to draw is a source rect uh the color for the tin ale map rgb 
and uh, for that we'll say zero 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 no RGBA zero 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 and our alpha value uh, for the X and Y we'll have our position zero position one and for the flags we'll have no okay so we're gonna say else else if uh, uh, if image not equals null so uh, this is for so if we don't have a source rect then that means um, we're gonna we're gonna want to draw the whole image right so we're gonna say we're gonna draw the tinted uh, bitmap and we should just copy all this uh, right here so we have our image and the rest of that so uh, lastly we're going to say that if our text uh, is not equal to uh, empty string uh, then we want to actually draw our text to the screen so we're going to just do al draw text al draw text and I don't know why that's not working okay we got to include fonts that was my bad uh, so we got to include font in order to do draw text so we say l draw text uh, in the font we didn't even declare a font yet uh, so we'll say a Lego font so we have our font there so we're gonna put our font uh, for color l map RGB for now we're gonna set the color to uh, red but I'm at RGBA, uh, but be, um, in the next tutorial or so we're going to add in custom colors and stuff. Uh, but so we'll set this to alpha, and then for X and Y position zero, position one, uh, flags null, and for our text, gonna say our text. It should be text dot c string. Okay, so that is it for this tutorial. Uh, we'll continue on doing a lot of animation stuff in the next uh, uh, few tutorials. It might take up two, three, maybe four tutorials. Uh, but I hope you enjoyed this. Thanks for watching. Hope you enjoyed it, and bye.